Hi guys, so I have here a Viner BSX919AH which has a blinking problem in the MCC Advanced uh, blinker and you cannot power it on through the power button as you can see what I'm doing right now there's no response from the unit and if you try to force it on through the technician's axis you can see it's in amp error or it's in DC detect mode so yeah if you open it and let's see what we, what we can do with the unit so this is quite dusty in here so I need to clean it up a bit as usual we look for obvious visual signs of damage while opening it and also I'll check for some shorted pins in the amplifier circuit Guys, right, so what we can do is we'll check the amplifier circuit so the, the, the amplifier circuit is it's not the uh, usual transistors right like um, two big transistors per channel this one is using an ic so yeah that one it's this one one two and three yeah so it's hard to guess where or which of these are or which of this is the bad one you really need to do voltage testing here because uh, i measured all the pins here and they read the same no shorted pins here no shorted pins so what i did is that i look at the manual we're lucky we have the manual this one because it's quite old so this one here so these are the those ic's the main amps so this this is one ic here one block of ic so two two channels per per one ic of this paco 14a yeah, and this one the bigger one p p 015a it has three channels on it so every output it has uh it has this resistor here and then it goes to the protection mode here I mean the protection circuit uh, let's check here this one here the 33k yeah that 33k ohms that will go to the here this one here okay so it's the DC detect circuit DC detect circuit all of the outputs of the amplifiers like one two because this, this is a seven channel so one two three four five six seven all their outputs have these um, resistors connected to them for example this one here the output here connected to this three and yeah and these are paralleled and it goes to same same spot this one here dc detect circuit here so we'll we'll measure the voltage before that 33k okay so basically we'll measure voltage here it be in between this low ohm resistor this is a low ohm resistor here the you see this you see this um, white ones here yeah these are the ones let's put it here Okay, let's just put it here another one because uh, it's quite it's quite longer the pins are quite longer yeah okay so i put it right in here so i put this in here this one here this part here in between 33k and this r5057 okay so let's measure it okay so now min max yeah we have to force it okay let's force it and then watch the readings here right now so it should be no no dc here okay so this is the first channel we'll check we'll just check two or three because i already know where, where the channel that's bad so let's just check three to compare or two just two to compare okay so let's force open yeah let's power on then amp error and then it's gonna shut down there it shut down so yeah 
maximum is 0. Point, yeah so basically no it's not dc because it's 0. 0.1 okay so that's all good on the channel so let's move to another channel so let's move to this channel here this one this is the bad channel okay we'll move this one here to this this is the bad channel here okay let's go back there let's force it again yeah see there's 53 bolts here so yeah if if the if these receivers don't have the protection circuit so there's a big chance that your speakers or your drivers will blow up that's the good thing with these receivers is that they have the protection mode okay now we found the problem here there. the problem is this ic here this one i don't know if you can see it after fi finding out that this ic is bad i always also have to double check the other small components here okay but for now i'll just buy this ic and then after it arrives and then when it arrives uh, i'll just take this whole assembly off and then double check all the components there by the way guys another way to confirm that this one is a crawl here so i just um what do you call that i just hung these pins okay these pins are for the for that particular channel okay so let's just hang it and let's try the let's try the power on the the receiver let's try it let's try yeah so as you can see now guys it's not working so it did not turn off anymore okay so now we just confirmed that that's the bad i see there see and if we turn it off so we turn it off so it no longer has the this one here no longer uh, blinking it's not blinking anymore okay so now we we can we can turn it on from here now and like before we have to turn it on through uh, another way or uh, like a technician's <laughs> access so yeah we can turn it on from here now okay see yeah that's it guys so now i'll buy the i'll buy that ic and check all those small components there and then yeah proceed okay so that's it